Hey, aloha my internet family. Welcome to the Practical Printing Channel. I'm your host, Chris Russell, and by now you've probably heard about the Race 2 H2, uh, the competition where multiple builders, uh, myself included, are going to be racing to build the CME CNC H2 Hacker Kit Delta. Um, this is going to be hosted on the Jatman, Dustin's 3D Printing Tonight channel, and it's going to take place on February 8th at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time. I'm double-checking. Yep, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time. Um, so make sure that you get that on your calendars. But with that being said, we're going to be focusing some of our content here on things that I plan on using in the build to help me get a little bit of an edge up on the competition. Um, so tonight's print is a parts bin. Um, found the files on Thingiverse and the link will be down below. But um, I'm doing it as a spiral vase. Um, I'm doing it as thin as I can and I'm trying to use just the leftover filament that I have uh, at end of spools uh, because it doesn't take a lot to do it. And I'm considering it a disposable throwaway print. Um, they're very thin, very weak. The layers don't adhere well. Um, but it's a print it, use it for your purpose, throw it away. So, um, with that said, I'll walk you through the way that I sliced it up, and um, we'll come back and show you uh, the final printed model when we get done in a couple different variations of it. Okay, I've already dropped the model into Simplify 3, and I'll just loop that around so that you can see it a little bit. Um, let me show you my slicer settings here. So I went with a 0.3 layer height. I uh, wanted to keep it thin, um, I'm sorry, thick and fast. Uh, four top layers, four bottom layers, and just a single shell. And then I sent it for spiral vase mode or corkscrew printing mode. I set my infill to 0%, no support. I set my temperatures to 50 on the bed and 205 on the extruder. Now, I may end up having to tweak this a bit and go with higher temperatures just because the walls are so thin and we really need good layer adhesion if this thing is going to be semi-usable. And of course, standard cooling at the second layer, I start the fan to 100%. Uh, and that's about it. This will slice really quickly. And since this is going on Sharon, my uh, Monoprice Maker Select, I am just going to save it to... Uh, an SD card and uh, pop it inside to run the print. We'll see you back here in a few minutes once the prints get done. Okay, so I've got several of these bad boys printed by now and I actually ended up tweaking the settings a few times. Um, you're going to need to play with them and find out what works best for you with whatever filament that you have and I'm going to show you what we did here. Uh, because we printed it spiral vase, these sides are very, very thin, and there's not a lot of separation, so almost all of the models, it's really hard to get a focus on there, almost all of these models, we get a little bit of layer separation there on that tab, and on many of them, if you can see the crack there, it's really hard, there's a crack right here, um, along this edge where it starts to separate down there. Um, what I found out was I actually ended up cranking up my temperatures quite a bit. I was printing at 225 with standard PLA uh, for most of these. The yellow is inland um, and the white was also just inland PLA. Um, and again printed those at about 225 to actually get enough layer adhesion so that I could get one like this which is fairly solid. Now for my purposes, um, I plan on sorting out the parts for the build into these little bins and I'm going to separate them into step one, step two, step three, step four. So as I'm building, I can just grab the one that I need. Um, and as I said earlier, I'm going to consider these disposable. When the race is done, these are going to go in the recycle bin. So I wanted to use as little filament as possible. Um, I wasn't building them for structural integrity. So I can live with these little bit of cracks in them for what I'm doing. However, if you plan on loading these up full of nuts and bolts or screws or something to keep around on your desk, thumbtacks, staples, whatever, um, you may want to play with 
making the walls a little bit thicker, and play with your temps to get a little bit better adhesion. Those were all printed on Sharon, my Monoprice uh, Duplicator i3 uh, clone, or rebrand, I guess. Um, I also did one on Ozzy. Um, this is in, in my uh, signature Russell Blue Pet G that used to be produced by all professional uh, 3D filament, uh, who unfortunately is no longer producing. But this I printed it at 240, and it is rock solid. Um, again, even with the spiral base mode, the really thin walls, but that one will hold up a little bit better than the other ones do. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I will leave you with a time lapse as a follow-up video. Um, that way, if you don't care to watch it, you can skip it. Otherwise, it'll be posted simultaneously with this, and you can tune into it immediately following. Um, and with that, I wish you aloha and a good day.